What's up guys, as always Abhinav Rawal here and I am back in making videos as my school work is finally over. And today we are going to make a set of 4 new flat transitions in that too in powerpoint. You can take a look of these here. These transitions are not the same which I have made in my earlier video which you can check out here. These have a much better animation work and they are much great in design. So for the first transition I would be inserting a circle. Make it to no outline and change its shape fill to this. I will add a basic zoom effect to this circle and start it with previous. Then again add a grow shrink effect and make its duration to 1.2 and start it with previous. Now double click on the grow shrink effect and make it to full smooth end with 0.3 of smooth start. Double click on the grow shrink effect again and make its grow to about 1000%. Now I will align this circle to the middle of the slide and bring it to the right of the slide such that half of it is not visible. But as you can see the left part is defringing so I will change its growth to 12,000 1200% and it looks much better. I will copy the circle and change its fill to this and squeeze it to a oval. Then I'll rotate it and bring it to the top right corner of the slide. And change the delay of both its animation by 0.3 seconds. I will now copy the oval and make its shape fill to a flat yellow color and make its delay by 0.5 seconds and bring it to the left bottom corner of the slide but I don't know if you can see but I see a few glitches at the bottom I will reposition it And this looks much better. Now the transition would look great if I will add a text effect to it. I will add the name of the transition to circle blast. So let's speed up the work of this. So as you can see the transition amazing isn't it? I hope you liked it. So are you ready for the second transition? This transition's name I would tell you at the end. For this I will require a combined shape tool. If you are a powerpoint 2010 user you can follow this procedure but if you are a powerpoint 2013 or a 16 user then you have already this tool as default in the home tab of your application. I have added the tool, now I will insert a rectangle which will cover this much area of the slide. I will make it to no outline and change its shape fill to this. I will now add a triangle and then rotate it. Now let's make the triangle to cover the whole length of the slide I will remove the outline and change its shape fill to the same of the rectangle now I will bring this triangle just at the place where the rectangle ends
Now click on both of the objects and go to shape union. Now this becomes a single shape. I will add a flying effect from the left and then start it with 0.8 in duration and start it with previous. I will make it smooth start by 0.6 second and smooth end by 0.2 seconds. I will copy this shape and make a rectangle at the left of this shape and let's remove the outline. Click on the shape and then the rectangle and go to shape subtract. The animation remains unaffected and flip it horizontally. And bring it to the right of the slide. Here, okay, this is fine. Oh, we forgot to change the animation. It would be from the right. Nice. Now change its duration to one second. And you can see the smooth start and smooth end has made changes by itself. Means they are in proportion. Now just copy the previous object and change its shape fill to this. I have to cover it to the full slide so I will not just increase its length I will first bring it to the right such that triangle remains outside and the remaining portion I will cover it with the rectangle. I will remove the outline and change its fill to this and then go to shape union. Now make its delay by 0.2 seconds and it looks like this. But this transition looks empty because we have not added the text. The text is the major part, I will let you know why. And yes, the text and the transition name, Boogie Boogie. I will make the font to Babus. I hope I pronounced it right. Maybe. And make it the line spacing to very tight. And then align to the center and then to the middle. Apply a line effect from the right. And make its duration by 1.7 seconds and started with previous go to this effect and make its bounce end by 1.3 or something like this might be fine and let's change the delay by 0.4 or something and now it's looking much better you know why? It's because the two shapes at the back, they are striking at one point and the point where they are striking, the text comes in right in the slide. So this is the time for the third transition. I named it Tumify. For this I will again insert a circle. And make it to this fill and apply a basic zoom effect to it and start this effect with previous I will change the duration to 0.2 second okay now I will add a gross link effect to it and change its duration by 0.7 or something okay and change its growth by 130% and smooth end to its full
Now I will copy this circle and bring it right over here. Change the delay of animation by 0.1 second. Now I'll again copy the circle. What I will be doing is just copying the circles and making the animation at random intervals. I will again copy it. I will not insert much circles. I will just insert some smaller ones and then I will insert two big circles which will cover the whole slide. I am just doing hit and trial. Let's change its duration. So you have to find the correct timings by yourself. And now it's the time to insert the big circles. Let's make it more big. Okay, so left of the slide is covered. Let's bring it to this size. And we are going to finish it. Yes, the whole slide is covered and the transition is finished. And this transition too looks empty. We have to insert a text box and some text effects along with it. Let's speed up this part too. Okay, the transition is done and it looks just so amazing. The last one, I named it Oblong. It's the best transition of the whole video, I suppose. For this, I will insert a square and make it to 4 by 4 in size. I will remove the outline and change its shape fill to this and then align to the center and then to the middle. Go to the view pane and turn on the guides. Just rotate it such that the corner point touches the center, the vertical line. Now I hope you remember the first transition. Take this circle, go to animation and then the animation painter. and click on this square now I will copy this square with the control key and make it shape fill to this a flat pink color and then click on both of its animations and make its delay by 0.2 seconds Nice Now just click on this violet rectangle and copy it and align it at the same place right here click on both of its animation and change the delay by 0.4 seconds so it looks like this now comes the interesting part which will give a great visual effect to this transition just click at this pink rectangle and copy it and 
change it to about this size and change its growth by only 160% and smooth end to the full and make the du duration of the zoom effect by 0.3 second and the growth shrink effect would also be a 0.3 and they delay by 0.3 So their duration and delay are also same. Copy this pink one and make it to this color and bring it right over the pink square. Now take the basic zoom effect of the violet square and change its delay by 0.4 seconds and take the growth shrink effect of this and change its delay by 0.6 seconds. Now I will change the duration of the growth shrink effect by 0.5 seconds so it looks like this but the outlines are also coming for this first select both of the small squares then align them to the center then to the middle now click on the violet square and make it to a dark purple outline or the violet outline and change its weight by 3 points so it looks like this So the transition is over, we have to add the text now. I will add the text, the oblong and change it to very tight line spacing and my favorite font. It will be pink in color, align it to the center then to the middle. Now we don't need the guides so you can turn off. apply a flying effect from the left and then start it with previous and change its delay by 0.4 seconds now change the duration of this by 2.1 seconds and apply a bounce end of about 1.2 second second and the transition is over the text effect has been applied this is all for today thanks for watching my video and the download link is in the description peace